Hello, my name is Don and welcome to episode 18 of our Paris Saint-Germain Let's Play on the Football Manager 2018 beta. As I said in a previous episode which was out earlier today, this the full game is now released, but this is still beta content. I'm recording this on Thursday, I'm hoping to get double episode today, double episode tomorrow and maybe a little fun thing on Monday and then the new series starts on Tuesday. That is the plan anyway. Just the way it's worked out is I can't I count the episodes up and if we get to the final of the Champions League, then it's basically double today, double tomorrow and then we still have the final of the Champions League. That maybe deserves to have a day by itself anyway. So that will go on Monday with the new series starting Tuesday. So since the last episode there's been a few games, we played Monaco in the last episode, we won 5-0. We then went to Kiev expecting to win and we drew 0-0. Arturo Vidal missed a penalty in the 6th minute, other than that, there was lots of chances, we just didn't take any of them, to be brutally honest, then we beat Amines, 2-0, Godin and a Vidal penalty, and then we beat Reims, Reims, 5-0, third penalty in 3 games, Leo Messi this time, putting it home, Neymar brace, Benzema brace, we then beat Bordeaux 2-1, and a brace from Icardi, and just to give uh, Benzema a little rest, Bore scored for them, and then we drew one wall with Angers, they scored from a corner that wasn't cleared, uh, I say it wasn't cleared, it would have been cleared if Dahlberg wasn't sleeping, 5.3, I'm actually just going to go and fine him for that because that is fairly unacceptable, that's a two week wage fine for me, a 5.3, that is horrific, um, other than that, that cleared, failed clearance, Dahlberg was sleeping, it came in, was recycled, the guy shot, it was going well wide, unfortunately it bounced off Fedza that off-footed De Gea and put it in the back of the net. Benzema got us a late equaliser, but hopefully what I'm looking at now is we beat Monaco comfortably and then we had a poor game. We now had a poor game can we go and turn Kiev over at home. That's the hope anyway. So we've got a lot of changes to make because basically I swapped out the entire team in the last game. So. We're going to bring Mtiti on, De Gea and uh, Godin will come in as well, if I can get these guys to come in. Where is Godin, Godin, Godin? Godin is there, Fedsa will come out for Vidal, then Golem will stay in. Uh, we'll bring Rabiot in there, we'll bring Alexandro back for Kurzawa. Uh, come on, in you go son. It's a bit sticky that sometimes we'll bring in Verratti for Gorsteka. Return Neymar, return Benzema, and Cavani returns to the bench because the Cardi is injured. He picked up a training injury. Annoying little things. We've not had one for a little while though. And we'll bring in Mbappe for Messi. World's the most expensive player. Not eligible to play, of course. So we'll just have to make do with the second and third most expensive players in the world. So we're going full strength at, or almost full strength, should I say at um, Dinamo Kiev here, Alexandro can't get booked really, Vidal can't really get booked, but I'd rather them go get booked and be lost missing for the first leg of the quarterfinal and back for the second, to be honest, so come on lads, keep our good run going, I expect a solid defensive effort, same with the midfield, getting good responses here, unlike that game against Galatasaray earlier on in the season, if you remember, said control the midfield and everyone just went, Pst, we're out of here mate. And then we went on to lose the game, so we're getting positive responses this time. Hopefully, we can turn over Dinamo Kiev here. Got a corner early on. Neymar puts it out to Mbappe. Into Nangolan. Oh, it's a good save, but it falls to Godin. If he is on side there, that is in. Linesman's away up the pitch. It's a goal. Diego Godin, our vice captain, fantastic. He's been the captain for most of the season. Puts us in front in this last 16 game. Must win. We can't concede a goal, though. We're saying we'll go out the same way we did last year on away goals. That was against Man City, of course. Mbappe to Benzema. Had the overlap and run there, but he didn't go for it. He said he cut it back to Verratti, who found him on the run. And Benzema makes it 2-0. So as long as we don't concede two goals now, we are through. We can't have a draw. We now have to win the game because of away goals, of course. Um, so score draw is no good and a loss is no good. 
Otherwise, we're into the quarterfinals of this tournament again for the second year running. Verratti off the post. The keeper gets a hand off the rebound, but it goes wide. <clears throat> 11 shots, 7 on target in the first 20 minutes here. We are fired up. We're up for it. We can keep this going for the rest of this game. We're going to be in good shape. Morzuk, that's a decent ball of a forward, but Godin's going to usher that all day long. That said, he's ran himself into a hole, but he does find Vidal. Verratti. Nangolan. Brings it forward. Forward for Benzema. Back to Verratti. Nangolan. Neymar now. And he Benzema. He's got Mbappe on the run. Can Mbappe finish? Yes, he can. 3 0 up inside 20 minutes. I said, but it's a good game, then a bad game. We've had the bad game before coming into this game. Maybe we can have a good game. 12 shots, 8 on target, 3 in the back of the net. We look like a different animal that played the first leg, to be honest. Playing the same tactic and virtually the same. In fact, I think it's the exact same set of players that played that first leg. But if anything, they would have deserved a 1 0 win. Despite us missing the penalty, they played better throughout the 90 minutes. Today, we have came in. And we have went, we are winning this game and we have strangled the game early on. Going to go in at half time, 3 0 up. Extremely, extremely happy right now. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. I actually pressed the wrong button. I meant to say I was happy with their performance. I didn't see that little knot in there, so it's not that I pressed the wrong button. I just misread what it said. Maybe better way of putting what I'm trying to say. That's surely a foul against Neymar. Apparently not. Kiev on the ball now. End of highlight. 16 shots, 9 on target. Good sort of ratio right now. Oh, great save from De Gea. And Titi's going to put that out for a throw-in. I was going to say for a corner. Looking at the angle of the ball. But it was indeed for a throw-in. Uh, it's been a, such a good game so far. Verratti's starting to tire. Alexandro's tired. And kind of want Alexandro just to pick up a booking before I sub him off though. In fact, I'm not even going to sub him off because I've got no left back on the bench. We'll bring off Verratti. So on comes Gorzeka. Uh, really sorry, a couple of episodes ago I lad said how to say his name. Went back, I read it between episodes and I was just blanks on how to pronounce it again. Do apologise. Dolberg's going to come on for Neymar. Just give Neymar a bit of breathing space. The game should be as good as done now. And last sub, we will bring on Rabio for Nangolan. In fact, we'll bring one for Vidal. A bit more defensive minded, isn't it? But I think it's just what we need. Koval brings it out, launches forward, and Titi heads it down for Gorzeka. Nangolan, Gorzeka, forward to Benzema. He's got runners alongside him. If you can find them back, then that's a great ball. It is indeed an. Dolberg's there at the end, the other side. Casper Dolberg makes it four. Why couldn't we have performed like this in the first leg and taken the stress off today? I do not know. Either way, looks good. Monaco and Madrid are drawing. I think that means it's a Madrid win on aggregate unless Monaco get another one, in which case it would go down to away goals. That's a beautiful little effort from Ningolan, by the way. Says he didn't mean it. Not convinced. It looked like a chip to me. Danny Alves with a very poor corner there. And the result of that... They try to break, but they've got nobody forward. That's always good when you're 4-0 down. Let's just have nobody forward. I know they say the AI is better at adjusting this year. Surely it should recognise that it's going out of the Champions League right now. Nowhere against a stronger team. I know you maybe get turned over, but I'd rather get turned over 8-0 and die trying than losing, not trying. Another corner kick from a Kasper Dolberg effort. Oh, what an episode I feel this has been. It's probably not been the most exciting episode, but I tell you what, it's been rare. I can't remember the last time I got up for a game like this. Godin to Nangolan. Through it goes, away it goes. 25 shots, 15 on target. Probably one of our best performances of the season, to be honest. A further third of those on target have been converted. Sorry, slightly less than a third. Either way, I can't remember us having that many shots, that many on target particularly against a decent team. I think there's maybe we've won other, one other game. But either way, that was smashing from us today. Wins the Champions League draw. We'll have a quick look for that. 
uh, because if it's soon, I will keep you in for this. Dolberg has to speak personal matters. I didn't find you for the game against Dynamo Kiev. Oh, god damn it. Just got to say something, just I've solved the issue. But I find them before the game. For the previous game. And that's frustrating. I'm just trying to see Champions League group draws after the next game. So never mind. It should tell us when the court final is. Here it is. So we've got a number of games to go before we get here. But that is where we're going to stop off next. That will be tomorrow. Um, so hopefully I will catch you all for whoever will play in the Champions Cup quarter final second leg hopefully we'll progress to the semi-final and then hopefully the final that is a target for this series was to win the champions league as you see our form has been absolutely ecstatic really since we lost to Mets who we play next at the end of november but we haven't lost a game since then even before then that's, yeah that was the end of maybe our bad start it's been a problem we had last season a problem we've had this season was bad start and but second half of the season, we've just came alive. We'll be back in March, April rather, the 23rd of April, give or take a couple of days. And we'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The growth recently has been sensational. Appreciate the support that's been on this series. And I hope you are enjoying it. If you are, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time.